Um, so here with me today I've got uh, Brenda. So Brenda, you've been coming to us um, for the last six years now, since 2010 was your initial course. Um, let's go back to kind of that time, or maybe a little bit further back. When did you first kind of get diagnosed with scoliosis? When did you first find out about it? I didn't find out about scoliosis. six years on from then, how do you kind of feel about your back now? How, how is your condition now? Well, I think um, my condition is a lot better than it would have been if I hadn't been coming here. Because obviously I do the exercises as much as I can. And as you said, obviously pain wasn't a huge factor um, for yourself, so it was more kind of um, keeping on top of your condition um, as you went along. So you've been coming to the clinic for six years now, so what kind of changes have you seen um, over the years to the clinic and the treatment itself? Well, no, I think the treatment itself, um, there are obviously new little things come in during the, you know, in between things that get put into, into your exercises in the next, uh, for the next period. As well, going back to what you said before with the adaptations to the exercises, you have a lot of trouble with um, your knees and things, didn't you, over the last couple of years? Yeah. Um, so you were able to have your exercises adapted um, to yeah. fit those? Well, to some extent, yes, and then some uh, extra exercises put in for me. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. What would you um, possibly say to someone um, who's in a similar position you were six years prior when um, you had no idea about scoliosis? What would kind of be your advice to someone? 